Increasing the number of rows in a series of cells containing data is another very common operation in Excel. This question may be used as one of those starter questions in an interview just to figure out if you actually know anything about Excel or not. A common way of answering this question is to right click on a row number and select insert. This will add another empty row to your spreadsheet. If the interviewer actually wanted to know if you can increase the overall size of a spreadsheet because there are not enough rows to fit your data set, well you can't. The number of rows and columns in Excel is fixed. To add additional data, you'll have to add additional worksheets and then utilize the data in some kind of format or formula on the first sheet to tie it all back together. Let's look at a couple of ways to increase the number of rows on a worksheet. And because it doesn't really matter about the data right here, we're just going to use a blank worksheet. So what I'm going to do first is just add some random numbers in the first 10 rows of column A. Just type in some things, try to make them as random as you can. It doesn't really matter what they are. So in this series of data, I need additional row in between two and three. I need to add some more data. So what we're going to do is right click on row number three, and you'll see that it has an insert. So because we have the row highlighted, it's going to know that we need a new row. So we're just going to click insert. This moved our data down and added a new row, three. So now what used to be row three is row four and on so forth. Now, what if I wanted to add more than one row? So you can do that. So what we're going to do now is highlight four to six. And we're going to right click again and do insert. Three new rows appeared above four. Let's try another way we can do this. So let's highlight row eight. Now, let's go up here to the Home tab, and if you look over here to the right, you'll see Insert. So this is actually what I want. I asked me what I want to do. Well, I want a new row. I could have just done a cell, but I want a new row here. And now it looks exactly like if we just uh, right-clicked and did Insert. Let's do one more thing before we go. Let's say I have some data. So what I'm going to do is come over here and put some data. I want to include that data in my data set but you know sometimes I don't know how many rows I have I can go over there and highlight and add two more or I can simply just right click copy and now we're going to come in here and go to A12 I'm going to paste this but instead of just doing a paste I'm going to say hey insert the copied rows there, there we go and it's going to ask me what do you do with the existing data? Do you move it to the right? So now you have one one and A and the existing data and B, or do you just want me to move it down? It does not overlay it because you said insert. So I'm going to move it down. And now I have my column D in column A. It's just so you know, inserting new columns works about the same as inserting new rows. Right click on the column, it'll say add and do insert because you right clicked on a column, it knows it's a column. Or you can go up there to the insert and it will know that you're working with a column. You can also copy an entire column, move it over, and paste it, and it sticks it where you want it to. So try adding a few columns of data to your spreadsheet and work on figuring out how you can use this right click and the insert button to insert those new columns into your data set.